In late September, a team of surgeons at Cleveland Clinic performed their second near total face transplant on a middle-aged man. We had a, a multitude of complications stemming originally from a motor vehicle accident. Uh, well, she had extensive facial trauma. The patient had had multiple reconstructive procedures designed to improve the form and function of his face, but they had been unsuccessful. He was missing the middle of his face, forehead, and eye sockets. He couldn't smell and had already lost complete function in one of his eyes. And at that point, it, it was really, uh, I think, where, where he needed to go was to accept the risk uh, of having a face transplant. The surgery took about 24 hours and a team of nine surgeons transplanted donor tissue, nerves, bone, and muscle of the scalp, forehead, nose, upper jaw, and eye sockets or orbits, which were critical to saving vision in his one remaining eye. His vision was failing in the left eye because it was exposed so much. The best way that we can think is give the patient back eyelids and back in orbit that can sustain that uh, globe, that eyeball in of itself, and so it was to save his eyesight. Face transplants aren't without risk. The face is an organ, and patients must take immunosuppressant drugs for the rest of their lives to prevent organ rejection. It's a delicate balance, but in certain cases, the benefit outweighs the risk. It's a sensory organ that is as important as all the other organs. Now, can you live without a face? Yes, you can, but it's very, very difficult. If we look at kidney transplant, can you survive without kidneys? Well, you can have dialysis uh, for an extended period of time. That's not a very good quality of life. So we equate it similar to, to uh, kidney transplants. It'll take about six months for the patient's new facial nerves to grow. And once that happens, he'll regain movement in his face. He's a very strong person and, and like I say, a pioneer. So. You know, I think he and his wife are very happy that uh, they've gone through this. At Cleveland Clinic, I'm Erica Foreman.